We often get customers calling us confused about the power specifications that we give on our website and frankly most loudspeaker manufacturers give some sort of power rating. Now in our case we specify a maximum continuous RMS power in watts and a maximum dynamic power in watts. Well what do these things mean and do I have to worry about my amplifier matching up with those numbers? Well, no, you don't have to worry about matching your amplifier up. Basically, the maximum continuous RMS power is the maximum power the speaker will handle continuously. Let's assume that you have a party and you turn the volume up next to full and it's rated at 200 watts for that speaker and your amplifier is 200 watts. It'll play all day and all night long at that loud level without damaging the loudspeaker. Now dynamic power, which is usually more, it may be 400 watts or 800 watts for that same speaker, just means that it can handle momentary bursts of power that are much higher than the continuous rating. So let's say that there's a special effect in a movie, an explosion or something. Well, if your amplifier is capable, it's going to deliver a ton of power for a very short amount of time. That's what that number means. Now let's go back to the max continuous power, and let's say our speaker is 200 watts RMS rating. Do you have to have an amplifier that's capable of 200 watts? Are you not going to get everything out of the speaker if you don't have an amplifier rated 200 watts? No, that's not true at all. An amplifier that has a decent power rating will power any speaker. Let's say 100 watts a channel, which even inexpensive home theater receivers have now. They will power the speaker fine. What you're going to notice is that when you get to the limits of what your amplifier or receiver is capable of, it's going to start sounding strained, and then it's going to sound distorted. That's the point that you need to turn the volume down a little bit. And if that loudness level is not enough for you, and you're way under the max power rating of your speakers, just think about getting a more powerful amplifier. It's that simple.